What's up guys? So I got myself a little goodie bag. I got something in here I want to show you guys. And yeah, let's just open this up and see what's in here. I think it's something that I've been needing for a while and that you guys are probably gonna like, so. <clears throat> All right guys, so I got me myself a little Amazon package here. And uh, simple enough, airbrush accessories. Oh yeah, the suspense is real. So what I got here is actually a set of uh, quick disconnects. So I'll show you guys these up here. And so I ordered this um, in order to solve my, uh, my little debacle that I have going on here. So I'll show you guys my setup uh, for my airbrushes currently and uh, why I'm choosing to switch over to the quick disconnects. And so let's go ahead and open her up, rip it up, and show you guys what we got here. And then I'll show you guys how to hook it up. Um, and, and if you're interested in these, I'll put a link down in the description or down in the comments so you can get your hands on it. Um, but what we got here is four extra O rings, right? Because each one you see inside of there has a little O ring for a seal. And it comes with five quick disconnect pieces and one quick disconnect plug for your hose that you'll be using. So you'll be able to have up to five airbrushes set up and one plug to roll them all basically. Um, so let's go over a quick way this is going to go in. So you're going to have your airbrush hose, a standard uh, 1 8 fitting. So this is fits like Iwata, um, you know, the GSI Creos. Uh, Badger is also now making airbrushes with 1 8 fittings, which is really nice. Uh, but most standard airbrushes come with these. Um, and that's it. You're just going to take this and uh, you're going to put it on here. Now, I would recommend putting this as tight as you can. Right? Mm -hmm. Nice and tight. Maybe even take a little wrench to it, but probably a good hand tighten will be good enough. Uh, and then let's give it some air pressure. So just like that, the air pressure's in. And all you do to put one of these in, you make sure you tug tug this uh, round part down and then stick it in. And obviously we don't have an airbrush, but let's get let's get an airbrush and show you the whole experience. Um, yeah. Alright, so what I found on these is um, that O-ring works pretty good, but if you have any troubles like on certain airbrushes, uh, I just noticed it doesn't make a great great seal. But one easy way to just fix that is to just take a little Teflon tape. And all we're going to do is take just a little bit of this here. And we're going to put some of it on our threads of our airbrush. And this is going to be totally okay because once this is on here, like the, once the quick disconnect is on, um... It's probably going to be on there for a while. Like, I don't see myself taking it off. That's the, the whole point of this, right? So putting a little Teflon thread on there before you put on your quick disconnect piece. And when you put it on, make sure it goes in all the way nice and snug. You'll feel it tighten down. And we're going to, again, we're going to take this. We're going to pull down on the quick disconnect push in and then release it up and that'll lock it in place and now you're ready to spray with air and then when you're ready to switch off to your next airbrush simply take that one unplug it and you grab your next airbrush and plug that in good to go so there you guys have it a quick little quick disconnect system again it's super inexpensive I think it was like $12, 12 dollars 12 to 15 bucks um you can find these online maybe even cheaper um i'll put a link to these exact ones that i ordered uh down below but again if you want to find yourself other ones um i highly recommend it and you, that way you don't have a spider web of hoses laying around uh, your airbrush area so hopefully that helps you guys out 
always looking to improve my uh, setup here and I believe this is one simple inexpensive way of making it just a thousand times better so hope you guys like that video again order yourself some down below and we'll see you guys in the next one later